An experiment in calorimetry. A container is partially filled with water in which there are immersed an electrical resistor and a thermometer consisting of mercury in a glass tube. The whole system is thermally isolate, insulated. When the system is initially in equilibrium at room temperature, the length of the mercury column in the thermometer is 5 cm. If a 12 volt storage battery is connected by a switch to the resistor, a current of 5 amperes flows through it. In the first set of experiments, the switch is closed for 3 minutes and then opened again. After equilibrium has been attained, the thermometer reading is 9 cm. The switch is then again closed for 3 minutes before being opened. The final equilibrium reading of the thermometer is 13 cm. In the second set of experiments, an additional 100 grams of water is added to the container. The initial thermometer reading is again 5 cm. The switch is closed for 3 minutes and then opened. After equilibrium has been attained, the thermometer reading is 7.52 cm. The switch is then closed again for 3 minutes before being opened. After equilibrium has been attained, L is 10.404 cm. Make a plot of the internal energy of 100 grams of water as a function of thermometer reading and in the temperature range investigated, what is the change of internal energy per gram per centimeter? So initially we have T is equal to room temperature, T is equal to TR. We have an initial reading of the thermometer that is 5 centimeters. We have a battery that is 12 volts. When it is connected to the circuit, 5 amperes flows. So in the first set of experiments, we find that there is the electrical work done, which is due to the potential difference V times the charge that flows through the circuit delta Q. So it is VI delta T because current is equal to dQ dT. Uh, so we have 12 volts, 5 amperes applied for 3 minutes, 3 times 60 seconds. That gives us 10,800 joules of energy being delivered. Then uh, we have the switch uh, closed for 3 minutes and after that we re have a reading in the first set. First reading is 9 centimeters. The second reading is 13 centimeters. The change in the L1 value is 4 centimeters, both from 5 to 9 and 9 to 14. And the temperature that we read is proportional to the length of the mercury column. So the change in the internal energy, delta E bar, of the system will be due to the uh, work that is electrical work done. Uh, that is going to be transferred to the water as heat. So the electrical uh, electrical work done is transferred as heat to water. So it's going to heat up the uh, water and now I want to define a specific heat a specific heat per centimeter uh, per gram um, so this is going to be in joules per gram uh, centimeter then I can write uh, the amount of energy absorbed, Q1, to be equal to mass of the water, specific heat of water, mass of the container, specific heat of the container, mass of the thermometer, specific heat of the thermometer, multiplied by the length change, delta L1. This is equal to the amount of energy that is provided as electrical work, 10,800 joules. So I, I'm going to call this quantity in parentheses A. So I see that A times 4 centimeters 
is 10,800 joules. So A is equal to 2,700 joules per centimeter. Then we do the second set of experiments. In the second set of experiments, this is the first set, this is the second set, uh, we have additional water, so uh, the amount of heat absorbed, Q2, will be the quantity in parentheses A plus 100 grams of water multiplied with specific heat of water, delta L2, this is equal to the same amount of work, electrical work done, 10,800 joules and delta L2 is the difference in readings L2 prime and L2 which is 10.04 and 7.51 or 7.52 and uh, 5 this is uh, 2. Point, uh, 52 centimeters so we see that 2700 plus 100 specific heat of water multiplied with 2.52 is equal to 10,800 and from this equation I can calculate the specific heat of water in joules per gram centimeter as 15.86 joules per gram centimeter. So I go back to my uh, problem, it's asking me in part B, what is the change of internal energy of one gram of water when the thermometer readings by, changes by one centimeter? So this is basically the answer to part B. And now in part A, uh, I have to assume that there is no phase change in this temperature range. So assuming that there is no phase change in this temperature range, with this uh, specific heat, I have E bar <coughs> is, is given as 100 grams uh, specific heat times the length reading so this is going to be 1586 l so that will be the function uh, that represents the change in the uh, mean energy as a function of uh, the length l in centimeters and i see that i have a linear uh, relationship and for l is equal to five centimeters i read uh, 5 times 1,586, 7,930 joules. And whereas for a, a length reading of 10 centimeters, I would read the one, uh, 15,860. 15, so this would be the plot that we are after E bar as a function of L. Okay, so uh, we have a container that is partially filled with water. There's a thermometer and a resistor. When we close the switch, uh, there's electrical work done uh, due to the charge transfer under this applied voltage uh, for a, a brief period of time, which is three minutes. And I find that the electrical work done is 10,800 joules. And this energy is transferred to water as heat um, so we're going to see a change in the temperature of the water. So it will be uh, 9 centimeters and 13 centimeters for two repeated experiments. So we are sure that uh, we have a 4 centimeter change in the length with this amount of energy being supplied uh, to the water. Now defining the specific heat per centimeter per gram uh, in joules per gram centimeter. I see that the amount of uh, heat absorbed will be um, water, container and thermometer contributions that I called A, 
mass of water specific heat of water plus mass of container specific heat of container plus mass of thermometer specific heat of thermometer multiplied with delta L1 <coughs> this is W delta L1 is 4 centimeters so what I called A is 2700 joules per centimeter in the second set of experiments I have additional 100 grams of water so uh, in addition to heating the existing water container and thermometer I have to heat the 100 grams of water so there will be a 100 CW added to A multiplied with delta L2 which is 2.52 centimeters I, I, I'm supplying the energy 10,800 joules so this gives me for specific heat of water 15.86 joules per gram centimeter which is the amount of change in its internal energy per gram per centimeter and assuming that there is no faint phase change in this uh, temperature range uh, the internal energy I can write as 100 CW times L so it is going to be 1586 L so it will be a linear plot between 5 and 10 centimeters I have the mean energy varying as 7930 to 15860